Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sarah, and this is where we chat about all things EDC and my concealed carry journey. I'm doing things a little bit differently right now. I'm trying this out on my phone. I'm trying to make this a little bit easier for me and not having to pull out my whole camera every time I wanna take a video and edit on my computer and all that stuff. So hopefully the quality of this is close too. It's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be as good as the camera, but hopefully it's close and hopefully this makes it a little bit easier for me. But today's video is going to be kind of short and sweet and I just got in a new clip system for my holster and that and that is the alias clip system from the Neomag. I'm super excited about this. The one thing that I don't like about clips on holsters is the fact that you can see them. I prefer a like zero signature kind of concealment. So I'm super excited about this because supposedly this is super discreet, way more discreet than the discreet carry concepts. I also went ahead and got the hardware that they offer on the site because I wasn't sure what I would need. So I went ahead and took everything off of my Eclipse holster. Um, I had a DCC monoblock on here. So I'm just going to pop on the clip and see how it goes. So I ended up using a fixed retention and an adjustable retention spacer. I don't know if you'll be able to pick that up on this. Mm, not really, but I used a fixed retention from the one that um, they gave me in the hardware packet and then I just used an adjustable retention spacer or a squishy spacer versus a hard spacer that was already on for the DCC monoblock and that gave me enough room to be able to get this in properly. And then the other little piece that's supposed to go onto your belt just easily slides on like so. And that's all there is to it. So I'm gonna put this on my belt and see how I like it. We're using my Core Essentials belt. This is my EDC gun belt. I absolutely love them. They're a ratcheting system, which is pretty cool. It's a lot of belt loops. This part is supposed to just slide right onto your belt and it's gonna have the little teeth part facing outward. That's what makes it super concealable. So this just slides on like that. Okay, I'm already digging the fact that you can't really see it. And This also can be mounted places. Um, I've seen people mount it in their safes and you can just like unclip this here and then clip it onto one in your safe if you have two of them, which is pretty cool. All right, here's our holster and we should be able to just pop this in like that. And the wing always makes things a little difficult. Okay, and then we tighten this up. Let's see, how much bulk does this add? It doesn't look like it is rubbing terribly on the belt either. That was one of my concerns. I didn't want the teeth part to dig into the belt and ruin my belt. So it doesn't look like it's doing too bad of a job. Um, it does add a little bit of bulk. I feel like the holster sticks out a little bit further just because the belt right here, there's like a kind of a gap. This is my EDC unloaded Glock 43. Oh, I need to adjust the retention on this. Hold on. Okay. All right. I like how high it sits. Um, for me, deep concealment doesn't work. I usually get gun deck down here, so I like how high that sits. And I'm gonna slide this over just a hair. I don't feel like, let's see. So it does seem to sit a little bit further off of my body. Um, specifically in that direction, it kind of leans forward a little bit but that's because I think my holster is too short. Um, a longer holster would counteract that and be pushing this way. So it's not bad, 
I absolutely love the fact that there's, like, nothing to it, though. Like, who's going to see that and know what that is? Yeah. I like that. And I absolutely love... So, down at the bottom here, there's, like, a little lever. And all you do is just push that lever over and it slides right out. I like that a lot. A lot, a lot. So, I can essentially just leave that on my belt or I can just swap it out with whatever belt I choose to carry. I still recommend doing a gun belt, but ooh. Oh my god. Okay, so this is a game changer. Love that. I also got this one which is supposed to be a tuckable option. So basically you just attach your holster down here and then you can tuck your shirt over top of this. So I'm going to try this one out. Hold on one second. The nice thing about Eclipse holsters is that they come pre-drilled with all the holes that you might need to swap out for different clips. So there's three holes up here, depending on if you want to add a forward cant to it, or there's two holes down here if you want to add the type of clip that I'm adding right now. So I absolutely love Eclipse holsters for that reason as well. All right, so I added this one on. Same hardware didn't change the hardware at all um i just use the exact same hardware as the one on the top let's give it a go here we go pull my shirt up for you guys this is gonna sit deeper Ooh, okay i love that i'm really loving this clip All right, I switched out of cinematic mode because that was bothering me. Um, so as you can see, because this sits deeper, the other one sat up here, the belt pressure actually pushes on the top of the, the holster, pushing the gun more into my body. So I actually like this one a little bit more than the other one. And let's see, can we tuck? Can we tuck? We can tuck! Okay, that sold. Sold, sold, sold. That's amazing. Look at that. Literally zero signature. I'm obsessed. I have to say, I absolutely love this clip. Love this clip. I highly recommend this. Um, this is not sponsored but in any way. I purchased this myself. Um, they did not send this to me and I... I love this. I love this so much. The only downfall is that they are a little bit on the pricier side and I will link them down below so you guys can check them out. They are significantly more expensive than the DCC monoblocks and you do have to purchase them straight through the Neomag instead of uh, holster companies having them accessible. But man, is it worth it. That tuckable feature alone with the zero signature uh, of the clip, sold, done. I love it. I'm obsessed. Okay, so that's the end of today's video. Hopefully that was helpful. If you enjoyed this content, give it a thumbs up for me. It means the world. And if you have not already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I never want you to miss a video and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Stay safe out there. Bye guys.